Hey boys and girls, today we're looking at the homework from module four, lesson nine. And it starts off by saying, solve using the algorithm, draw and bundle chips in the place value chart. So very similar to what you did yesterday for homework, only this time we're going to be adding a three digit number to a two digit number. So it's extra important that you line your numbers up correctly since there's not the same amount of digits in each number. So 127 plus 14, I'm gonna start out by writing 127. And now I'm gonna use our standard algorithm or a vertical form, and I'm gonna add 14. Make sure that you line up four ones underneath the seven ones and 110 underneath the two tens. So this is how it needs to be lined up with the place values in the right spot. Now I can add. So I'm gonna start off with seven ones plus four ones, and it gives us 11. So I show this as 110 and one one. Now I'll go into my tens place two tens plus one ten is three tens plus one more is four tens and now i've got one hundred and i'm there's no other hundreds in this number so that one hundred just going to come right down to get the answer of 141. now i'm going to do the same problem but i'm going to show it on a place value chart so i need to represent 127 on the chart looks like 100, two tens, and seven ones. And now I'll represent 14, has no hundreds, has one ten, and four ones. Always start in your ones place. So if I have seven, I can make nine, ten, Sorry, if I have seven, I have eight, nine, ten. And now I have a bundle of ten. I know that ten ones is the same thing as one ten, so I'm going to change it. And now I no longer have these ten ones because I just changed it into one ten. I'm left with one one left over. Now I'll add my tens. One, two, three, four tens. And now I can add my hundreds, 100. So I can see that either way I do it, either in the standard algorithm or in on a place value chart, I get the answer of 141. And I want you to do the same with B and C. All right. Two says to use the algorithm write a number sentence for the problem modeled on the place value chart. So they're giving you the place value chart and they want you to figure out what the equation was. So you're gonna look at what they started with on top. So they started with, and you can even kind of see it right here, what they started with. This number has 100, it has four tens, and it has five, six, seven, eight ones. So they started with 148, and you can tell that they had bundled together to make this 10. So they did not start with this 10. This is something they bundled to make. The other number they started with is over here. So this number had two tens, and it had six ones. So this is what they started with, 148 plus 26. What they want you to do now is to solve this using your standard algorithm. So you're going to need to take 148 and add 26 to it, but you're going to be writing it in vertical form. All right, for the last section, it says Jane made 48 lemon bars and 23 cookies. How many lemon bars and cookies did Jane make? So you'll need to add 48 plus 23. And I would
would do it in standard form and then double check yourself with your place value chart to figure out how many she made all together. And B says Jane made 19 more lemon bars. How many lemon bars does she have now? Well, I know that she had 48 and she just made 19 more. So to answer this one, you'll have to figure out, well, if she had 48 and now has 19 more, how many does she have now? Show it in vertical form or standard algorithm and then double check it with your place value chart. All right guys, hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.